Hello, this is Steve True with Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques, tips, and tricks. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do a horizontal band on a line chart. So a lot of people want would like to put this horizontal band um, across their chart to show maybe a minimum and a maximum range. They want this band to be dynamic and uh, want it combined with a line chart so that you can kind of see when your line is in between or out of uh, your horizontal banding range. Let's go ahead and see how we do that. All right, so first what I would recommend doing is setting up a couple of areas. Uh, the first one being the minimum and maximum of your band. Now you can make multiple ones of these and have multiple bands, but I'm going to only show you one in this example. So here we have the minimum that we want our band to be, and we have the maximum that we want our band to be. So we want our band to be between 60 and 80 for our inventory chart. Then uh, this is where we have our chart range. So we've got uh, the inventory from January through December with various values, as you can see here. And then right below it, we want to create two more chart series that are going to represent a stacked bar chart for our horizontal band. The first one is going to be a series that we're going to call no fill, and that is going to be equal to the minimum that you see above. The second one is going to be a the actual band, and this is going to represent the difference between the minimum and maximum that you see above. So uh, let's look at those formulas. So in cell C7, I have this equal to D1, which is the minimum, and I have made that a fixed position and an absolute reference. And then I have copied that all the way across uh, the entire range. Then the band is going to be equal to D2, which is our maximum, minus D1, which is our minimum. And then make that an absolute reference and copy that across the entire range. So what we want to do is have two additional series like the inventory that go across our entire range of values. So no fill and band. Let's go ahead and make our chart now that we've created that. Highlight the range um, just above the inventory and then all the way through December as you see here. Then go up to your insert ribbon and we're going to make this a line chart. Um, alternately what we could do is, let's go ahead and do this a different way. What we want to do is we want to start out and make this a stacked 2D column chart. Let's click on that and let me bring this up here so you can see it just a little better. So as you can see we've created a stacked column chart with three different values. We've got the inventory, the no fill, and the band. Now what we want to do is we want to click on any one of the data points uh, so that we select the entire series for the inventory series. As you can see each one has been selected by clicking on the inventory series go up to your design ribbon then from your design ribbon you want to do change chart type alternately you could right click on that data series and do change series chart type let's pull that into the frame then we want to change the inventory to a line chart so let's go ahead and select the line chart as you see there now you can kind of see it's sort of taking shape we've got our line created we have two other stacked series here, the first one being uh, the no fill section and then one that's going to represent our band. The one thing that we need to do though is this band isn't filling up the entire range so we need to shrink the gaps in between each one of these series. So what you want to do is right click on any one of the band series data points or the no fill ones, go to the format data series dialog box and from here we want to change the gap width to no gap so zero percent on that and then let's click on close as you can see we've got two different bands span spanning across the entire range um, except for we really don't want to show this no fill one so let's right click on the no fill band then choose format data series from there we want to change the fill option and we want to select no fill. Let's click on close and see how that looks. Ah, so we now have our band in there. Probably since I've, I want to highlight the band, we can delete our grid lines. So I'm going to select one of the grid lines and then hit my delete key. I've gotten rid of the grid lines now. Uh, I don't like this as a green band. Let's right click on the band, do format data series, 
Let's change the fill type to a solid fill. And then let's choose a gray color um, somewhere around, I don't know, middle of the road gray. And click on close. Now you can see we've created our horizontal banding between 60 and 80. Uh, I'm going to, since we've only got one line's worth of data, I'm going to delete my legend and just add it into the title by selecting the chart, going up to the layout ribbon, go to chart title, centered above chart. And I'm going to hit my equal sign and make this equal to the series called inventory. And uh, by clicking on cell B6. All right, so now we have our uh, chart almost completed. Um, actually, it is completed, but I do want to show you. Let's go ahead and change the actual bands. Let me move this chart over a little bit farther. So let's say you want your band to not be between 60 and 80, but instead you want it to be between 90 and 100. You would change this minimum to 90, the maximum to 100. And there you go. You now have a band between 90 and 100. We could also make it, oh, let's go uh, between 75 and 100. You can see your band will now be dynamic and move throughout the data set. It will also uh, be able to make it as wide or as skinny as you want. The only other thing that I would probably recommend doing is, uh, now that I'm looking at my chart, is you may want to, if, we, if our maximum ends up being below our minimum, so if I do 60, notice our band says negative 15, we probably would want to add an absolute value around that um, or some other sort of error control. But uh, you can see how to create different sorts of bands uh, within Microsoft Excel and horizontally band um, a line using that. So please sign up for our blog at excel-boardtemplates.com. Also, don't forget to sign up for our YouTube channel so that you're sure to get the latest video. Thank you.